Today, an Indianapolis man is sentenced to 10 years behind bars after pleading guilty to a burglary charge in exchange for his murder case being dismissed. Fox 59's Jesse Wells was in the courtroom today and he shares some of the angry reaction to that deal. Today, the victim's mother and two daughters came here to court and told the judge they feel like the justice system failed their family. The judge said she understands their anger, but still accepted the plea agreement the family says they didn't want. Inside this home on Indy's southeast side on Christmas morning 2020, 40-year-old Tiffany Allen was shot to death. Prosecutors charged her ex-boyfriend, Zachariah Schmidt, with that murder, but as part of this plea deal, the murder charge was dropped and replaced with a charge of burglary. This burglary charge is a joke. How could they do that? The only thing he stole was my daughter's life. The plea deal, which was accepted in court by Judge Jennifer Harrison, came against the wishes of the victim's family. We are terribly frustrated with the justice system. I think it's a joke and Zach knows what he did. According to this affidavit, Zachariah left the scene of the killing only to return hours later covered in the victim's blood. His sister Chelsea Schmidt repeatedly lied to police that the death was a suicide. Prosecutors claim the murder case was hampered by jail phone calls, which indicate Chelsea admitted to the killing, but she's not charged with murder because this year she pleaded guilty to assisting a criminal commit murder. Almost her entire sentence was suspended and she was placed on probation. You know, it was just a joke. This whole thing was a, a sham show. Beyond their own frustration, Tiffany Allen's family insists the plea deal sends a bad message to the entire community. It just shows you can get away with murder. Yeah, it really does. It shows the younger generation that you can get away with murder. That's exactly what this case just showed everybody. Finally, after serving 10 years with the Department of Corrections, the suspect will have to serve an additional three years of home detention. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. A law enforcement official in Center